Okay, alrighty, 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 alrighty. This is life. Ah, uh, what well, is a good place to put this such that I can see everything? <laughs> I hope this works. Uh, let me push this back a bit, but I need to be careful when I do it such that it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, nothing falls off. Alrighty. Mm. So I, I, I think this looks, this looks okay. Oh yeah. There is the thing about what to do about the thing. <laughs> Facebook has changed to matter, to meta, meta. Is that how it's called? Yeah, right. Yeah, Facebook has changed the the name. Its name, its name is now Meta, right? Meta. That's that's the uh, Facebook's new name, and it seems like when they were doing their changes, it came with a lot of changes that have been done on on Instagram, on Facebook itself, and then on. Any other platform that is connected to Zuck in one way or the other. So there are certain uh, features that I always like to use, but now they are gone. <laughs> now they are gone. So I'm like, oops, oops. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? So um, I'm sort of trying to figure out what to do now that this, uh, this, uh, I hope, I hope it comes back though. And I hope that. I don't know if because Facebook has changed its name to Matter, it's just like Matter is the, it's like Alphabet. Like Alphabet is the big company, right? And then it has smaller companies inside. So I hope that that's the case and Facebook is going to stay Facebook. Anywho, welcome, welcome. Let me, let me get off talking about Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> let me get off talking about Facebook and let us get, oh my goodness, I went live without a title what is wrong with me what is wrong with me i went live without a title everywhere <laughs> oh man i went live without a title anywho if you are joining on facebook please do well to share the video uh hey instagram hey how are y'all doing hey clubhouse how are y'all doing Welcome, welcome, welcome to one scholarship a day. I hope y'all have been good. I hope y'all have been good. It's Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling much better today compared to yesterday. And thank you all so much for those that kept sending, oh, please get well soon. Please get well soon. I definitely appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. But I'm feeling better today compared to yesterday and the previous days so uh, i'm feeling a bit better now so yes we are going to talk one scholarship a day as usual i'm going to keep keep this really short and sweet because uh i know that y'all have busy days and i don't want to spend take a lot of your time talking about scholarships so i'm going to keep this short and sweet we talk about our one scholarship for today and then we are going to talk a bit about the, the workshop that is starting tomorrow tomorrow oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness the workshop is starting tomorrow are you all ready i have you all signed up oh man it's going to be amazing we are going to be prepping you all to apply for scholarships i'm excited i'm excited it's tomorrow if you haven't signed up yet and be sure that you are going to be participating in it Oh man, I feel so sorry for you because I don't know what I am, what is going to happen to you, but you definitely are missing out. You are missing out on an amazing opportunity that we are going to be having uh, this 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 weekend. That's from tomorrow. Alrighty, let's get to it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. My name is Sylvie, and I am the founder of Learn How to Get a Scholarship dot com. Learn How to Get a Scholarship dot com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships we do that through group classes through one-on-one -on -one classes and most recently through workshops 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 that i'm extremely excited about to talk to you all about because yes uh the application for scholarships can be uh, a daunting process sometimes and i've heard many people be of the theory that uh don't ap pick few scholarships and apply to them because the application process can be daunting so it's better to get uh, a few of them and focus on them i do not agree i do not agree with that with that uh with that that argument because i feel that one of the reasons why a scholarship application can be daunting for someone is either you're starting late 
either is that you're either starting late or you do not have enough help to prep you with the core of any scholarship application and that is what this workshop is going to give you it's going to give you the core of what is required when you apply for any scholarship what are the things that are required one you need a research proposal you need a cv you need a personal statement those are the things that if you check across the board are asked for for all scholarships and that is what we are going to be doing we are just going to be giving you these core things that you can use it and run with it as much as possible of course we we have a uh, scholarship specific scholarships that we are going to be targeting but regardless of the scholarships that we are targeting you can definitely take all of the information that we are going to give you all of the, the the work the work that we are going to put in take that and run with it run with it as much as possible and apply for as many scholarships as you deem necessary master students we are going to be prepping you to apply for three scholarships bachelor students we are going to be prepping you to apply for three scholarships and phd students we are going to be prepping you all to apply for three scholarships all fully funded all fully funded you all know i'm a product of fully funded scholarships and nothing excites me as much as telling other people about how they can get to get in this fully funded scholarships how they can apply for it and also just like the process it's not an easy process i know that i went through that and i've said i started curating scholarships for international students in 2015 so i i know i know what that process is like it's not an easy process and that is why we are trying to be like your your partners in this uh, scholarship application journey such that we can relieve you of how much of a daunting task it can be and also quit that 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 argument that theory that when you're applying for scholarships pick one and and zero in on it because uh it can be a daunting process i, I don't believe that i just believe that you need to prep as as well as as well as possible if you do that you're good to go Alrighty, so that is our workshop. Y'all go sign. We are starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm the first person on the team that is going to be beginning. So, uh, if when well, y'all are coming on the workshop tomorrow, get ready. You're going to see me there. I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to be checking all your documents, making sure that uh, in these scholarships that we are applying for, how ready are you? or how already are you for the scholarships okay so i'm going to be checking your documents so i'm the first person you're going to see on the workshop and then on sunday you're going to be meeting dr mariam who is going to be working with you all for your research proposals and then uh later on you're going to be meeting duta where she's going to be working with you all for your personal statements and by the end of the day y'all are going to be meeting kion and he's going to be working with you all for your cvs okay so that is what is going to be happening over the weekend i'm excited i'm looking forward to seeing you all and let's work let's work let's work let's work so if you haven't signed up uh maybe you still have a tiny window to get in but uh definitely go ahead go ahead sign up and uh and join in if you can but right now because it's already uh a bit late i'm sure bank transfers because our scholar our workshop is 25 dollars so uh maybe bank transfers are going to be troublesome to do the, the the best thing that you can do applying late is to pay by paypal because that way it makes it immediate faster we get no noticed immediately we can send you the documents for our pre-workshop things that you have to do before the workshop then you can get to doing those things and then when you do all of those then we can now when you're ready you're ready to come on on the zoom then i'll send you all like the zoom links and then we are going to get to work okay Alrighty, let's get to our one scholarship of the day i'm excited to tell you all about our one scholarship of the day because today we are in australia we are in auckland in australia auckland is in australia right oh my goodness <laughs> it's interesting how uh so i just i started thinking about uh the scholarship and i'm like oh wait wait wait, wait. this is in auckland so where is auckland located hold on hold on let me not show my ignorance to the public <laughs> i did <laughs> it is actually in new zealand you guys it is in new zealand and i know that there is always this beef about uh, new zealanders and australians so I need to watch my mouth, okay? I need to check before I speak. So, <clears throat> oh man, bless me. Y'all know I'm still sick, right? Y'all know I'm still sick. So, uh, don't mind uh, when when you hear me not sounding properly. Anywho, 
so th this is this is actually Auckland is in New Zealand okay so this is scholarship for international students to New Zealand that is <laughs> that's the scholarship that we are going to be talking about today so it's called the International Student Excellence Scholarships at the University of Auckland and this is a scholarship for international students targeting the academic year 2022-2023 okay so I'm just going to read to you all a bit of information about the scholarship and when you get this bit of information about the scholarship then think about it and see if if you would like to to go study there if you're interested in going to study if you are you even considering new zealand as a study destination if you're not start thinking about it maybe through the scholarship it can uh, push you to to consider it as a, a study destination so uh, this scholarship is targeting students that are registered as fee paying students okay so it's a partial scholarship that uh, the university is providing for international students if you are privately financed you're classified as a fee paying student so uh when you are classified as that they are going to uh you you can get into this uh you can apply for this scholarship and um they opened this scholarship just like last last two weeks that's when the scholarship opened and the deadline to apply for this scholarship is the 21st yeah it's the 21st of next month yeah it's the 21st of next month so 21st of november 21st of november that's the deadline to apply for this scholarship okay that's the deadline to apply for this scholarship and uh the scholarship is going to take care of you for a whole year for uh for one year uh that, that's what the scholarship is going to do and they are going to be giving um they're going to be taking care partially of your tuition fees of your tuition fees so it's a partially funded scholarship so your flight to new zealand you have to figure that out by yourself your accommodation and all of those things you have to figure it out by yourself because what they are going to be giving you is only towards your tuition okay so make sure you pay attention to that and number of slots they have up to 50 slots available i think that's not shabby that's not shabby to have uh 50 slots for for all international students coming in i know that international students uh that apply to study in various places it's always a big number so maybe you may look at um 50 slots as not a lot as maybe not a lot but uh it's 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 quite a number it's quite a number so they are going to be giving you all one thousand dollars uh what ten thousand dollars what am i saying one thousand dollars the value of the scholarship is ten thousand dollars for either postgraduate or graduate students so the, uh for either undergraduate or for postgraduate students this is this is important because um now i need to check when they say ten thousand dollars are they talking about ten thousand us dollars what currency is used in new zealand <laughs> oh man y'all see how much ignorance how 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 ignorant i am um what currency is used in new zealand okay that's not that's a subject that i should check for later on and if you all know all the time that i always say i'm going to check for uh the currency that is used in the netherlands i keep saying chf and i have no idea what that means anywho uh so they are going to be giving you all ten thousand dollars and this is going to go i am I'm, I'm hoping that this is probably american dollars right and this is going to go towards your tuition fee and uh if it goes towards your tuition fee then you all can can uh you now have to come up with the remaining with the remaining one because this is this is partially funded so because it's partially funded you have to come up with the other things but what matters most is that uh you all know that there is a scholarship for international students at uh the university of auckland at the university of auckland in new zealand okay so if you're considering uh new zealand as a study destination if you're considering auckland as a study destination definitely definitely do well to check out this specific scholarship and you already know the drill what happens i have to tweet out a link to the scholarship because you need the link right you all need the link to the scholarship else how are you going to apply for it right how are you going to get more information and in this world wild web of hours that we live in it's it's very easy to get lost in the world wide web trying to look for links to different scholarships right so of course i'm going to tweet out the links to the scholarship so if you do not follow me on twitter definitely go follow me on twitter because that is where you're going to find the link to the scholarship it's important that you get to the link to the scholarship because when you get to that link you go to the official page of the scholarship then you can read more details then you can get the application links some of us who talk a lot about scholarship 
scholarships. We are just providers of this information. We are not the providers of the scholarship. So we always need to give you the link so that when you're able to find the official link to the scholarship, you can be like, okay, from here, I can start my application process, okay? So I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now. I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now. Uh, and this is a good time for those on Clubhouse. If you have a question, please feel free to raise your hand. Come up on stage. Let us chit chat. For those on Instagram and on Facebook, this is a good time to put your questions in the comment section. And I am going to answer you all because I have to go tweet out the link to the scholarship, okay? So while I get through tweeting those links to the scholarship, if you all have a question, something you want to ask, something you want to share, are y'all going to be joining the workshop? The workshop is tomorrow. Are y'all going to be joining it? The first person y'all are going to be seeing on that Zoom is moi. You're going to be seeing me, okay? You're going to you're, you're going to be seeing me, and I am going to be talking to y'all. Like, how ready or already are you for the scholarships that you want to apply for, right? <laughs> so it's me that you're going to be seeing on the workshop. I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, so the first person you see is me. We are going to have a chit chat for like an hour. I'm going to check through your documents, see which of the scholarships you, uh, which of the documents you have ready, which ones you are lacking in, and how you can get your other documents uh, ready for the scholarships. And then uh, next, you are going to meet Dr. Mariam. She's going to be looking into your research proposals. Have you written anything, or have you not written anything? She's going to be getting straight to the work. Okay, straight to the work. If you don't have anything written, she will be like, Nah, 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 nah. You need to have something written okay and then uh after that you're going to have a session with uh Ki with um duta duta works on research proposals so she's going to be doing a deep dive into who are you who are you and why should you be given the scholarship right uh don't go writing oh i'm this person from this country and i'm so poor i'm so poor and this is me this is my problem you all solve my problem give me money to study no 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 that's not how it goes so nduta is, is an expert in charge of writing a research uh personal statement so she's going to be walking you all through that and making sure that um you get like the the basic details of writing your research proposals correctly and then lastly you're going to be meeting kion you're going to be meeting kion kion is going to be looking through your cvs how are your cvs looking like okay to make sure that we get this cv scholarship ready okay so uh if you all have not signed up for the workshop definitely go sign up i'm going to be seeing you all tomorrow all right you have to let out the link to scholarship while I was talking, I was tuning out the link to the scholarship. So y'all definitely go check it out. Our scholarship for today is a scholarship for international students to New Zealand. To New Zealand. Are y'all considering New Zealand as a study destination? If you're not, start considering it because they have an amazing scholarship, $10,000. That's the value of it, which is going to go towards your tuition fee. And uh, yes, it goes towards your tuition fee, but that means that you have to provide for the other things, right? I don't know where everyone is located, but your flight to New Zealand uh your accommodation your food and things like that you need to take care of that by yourself so y'all already know what i always tell y'all when it's a partially funded scholarship it's extremely important that you work it backwards how much is the how much how much else is required in order to facilitate your stay in that country can your family come up with it can you come up with a loan for it? And if you can't, can you apply for other scholarships to add with it? Those are the, the possible questions that you, you, should, you should be asking yourself. And based off of the answers of those questions, then you can decide if you're going to be applying for a partially funded scholarship or not. If not, you have to go for fully funded scholarships. And y'all know I'm a huge advocate for fully funded scholarship. I'm a product of fully funded scholarship. Did my master's and PhD practically for free. Everyone on the platform also have they have gotten uh their studies paid for completely in one way or the other but of course uh most um uh most of the people uh they, they specialize in specific things but because of that we really advocate for fully funded uh scholarships so uh if you cannot get to the money that is required in order to apply for these partially funded scholarships you need to get to the fully funded scholarships because financial situations differ, right? Everyone's financial situation differs. So if you are the type, like for me, I couldn't, if, if, if it wasn't for the, for the scholarship, I wouldn't I, fully fund the scholarship. I wouldn't have been able to afford it. <laughs> Even if they asked me like, oh, let my family come up with $10,000 to make up the remaining $10,000. My family wouldn't have afforded it, okay? So I really had to go for a fully funded scholarship. And if that's you, if that, if my story is your story, 
also know that you have to target the fully funded scholarships and in the workshops we are going to be working on three fully funded scholarships at the bachelor level three fully funded scholarships at the master's level and three fully funded scholarships at the phd level so i look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow if i'm able to see y'all if i'm able to see y'all that would be cool if i can't see y'all that's cool also uh but it's friday it's friday so um the next time that i'm coming on one scholarship a day is going to be monday it's going to be monday so i hope y'all do well to have a good weekend uh check out our scholarship for today see if it's something that you're interested in we've done one scholar i missed because i was sick if I, i'm still sick <laughs> i'm still really really sick so um i missed uh one scholarship of for, uh one scholarship one scholarship a day i think twice this week so <coughs> sorry i missed it twice this week so um i'm hopefully hopefully i'll be strong enough for us to be able to do uh all the the, the weekdays of next week okay thank you all so much for joining me thank you all so much for joining me i've checked out the link to the scholarship and also you guys um i'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of our scholarship for today i'll put it in my instagram stories so if you don't follow me on instagram definitely go follow me on instagram because there you're going to find the link the the official page of the the picture of the official page of the scholarship so you can compare with the link that you find on twitter to make sure that you are on the right page and i'm also going to put it uh instagram stories last just 24 hours right so i'm going to put it um also on the scholarship prep academy page on instagram that way each time you can you can always come back to it and be sure that you are on the right track and you're doing whatever it is that you have to do correctly okay so definitely do well to check out that page also and if you find the information there useful do well to follow it okay i'll see you tomorrow you guys i'll see you tomorrow on the zoom you all take care and uh bye everybody Good night. Okay, now it's not night everywhere. It's night here. It's night here in Japan. It's 11.32 p.m. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Y'all take care, okay? Bye.